About 20 million Americans suffer from varicose veins, the bulging veins that you see on the surface of the skin across the legs and the feet. And it turns out that a lot of us didn't even know that you can now treat them in about 15 minutes right in a doctor's office, and it doesn't have to be painful. And you're going to meet a woman who says it changed her life. Christine McLaughlin spent 15 years hiding a secret underneath her long dresses, black stockings, heavy support hose. Her legs were covered with large, bulging, varicose veins. It was a problem not only for how it looked, but recently became so painful. There was a real sensation of throbbing. They just hurt. It was just a heaviness, a density about the lower limbs. The varicose vein is a ballooning out or an expansion of a vein. And the symptoms that they cause are engorgement, swelling, fatigue, heaviness, uh, anything, the same sensation that you would get when you put a blood pressure cuff on your arm. She desperately wanted treatment to get rid of them, but thought all her options involved painful procedures, general anesthesia. I cried when I'd look at myself in the mirror. My fear overrode my vanity, is really quite honestly what it came down to. Then she heard about the newest varicose vein treatment called the venous closure fast procedure. The treatment uses a long electrode, which is threaded up the vein, and radio frequency waves are used to heat the vein until it collapses, closes. No anesthesia, no pain or painful recovery. Typically, patients feel better right away, almost as they walk out, their legs feel lighter, that they no longer have that heavy pressure inside the veins. So earlier this summer, Christine was treated by Dr. Mark Adelman of New York University. Now is when I start getting a little bit nervous. It's going to be very easy. Do the needle puncture in the back of the leg. It's right. a little, it's just feel the needle going in. Mm -hmm. And then we'll thread the catheter up, right. numb the entire vein, turn on the heat, close it off. You can see the veins here on the ultrasound. A black dot or a black hole, and that is the vein. And you'll see when I push on the vein, it actually collapses down. And that is what we're going to close off. Once the catheter is in, Dr. Adelman begins carefully closing off the veins one segment at a time, the whole procedure only taking some 15 minutes. Oh, you did great, and uh, you made it very easy for me. Just a few minutes later, Christine is feeling fine, able to walk out on her varicose-free legs to start the healing. Uh, I don't care about wearing a short skirt or, or anything that has to do with vanity purposes other than I am so grateful I have my health back. A great thing, Dr. Mark Adelman, the Chief of Vascular Surgery at Langone NYU Medical Center, performed the procedure on Christine McLaughlin, and they both joined us now. So, Christine, we have a picture of you formerly, before, with the varicose veins. Yes. Can you stand up now sure. and let everyone see the difference? It's astonishing. It's astonishing. They're just gone. And this was done only a few months ago. That's right. Yeah, we did this uh, in early May, I think. And yes. did it change your life? Exponentially. It How? really did. Well, I have, first of all, I have no more pain. There's no pain on, on, in my legs. I don't have a problem walking. The density, the heaviness about it is gone. And um, my energy level, as I said to my doctor a few months ago, is simply through the roof. I have the energy to, to exercise, and I've become extremely conscientious about what I'm eating, and it's just carried over, Diane, into so many different aspects of my life. And it was truly pain-free for you? You had some what, localized anesthetic? It's a local anesthesia, just some Novocaine-type medication, so that certainly Christine feels the needles going into the leg yes, just to numb it, but once it's numb, it's, it's not too bad, I yes. think. Not at all. Not bad, really. Mm -hmm. And here is the instrument that you use. And you're able to do it in 15 minutes? 15 minutes. 15 minutes. So just to thread this, uh, it's a venous closure catheter. Thread this catheter up through the vein under local anesthesia, and then uh, turn on the heat. Now, I know you had to come back a few times. Does everyone have to come back a few times? You know, 70% of the time, we can take care of this with just a simple venous closure procedure uh, and not have to mop up, so to speak, at the end. She had some leftover veins that we wanted to just clean up. And again, that was done under local and anesthesia. And will, in the future, she have to come back again? Will they come back? these veins? Typically not. So it does tend to run in families. If uh, you're planning a lot of pregnancies, you may uh, get some more varicose veins. And if you're planning to get very heavy, you may get some more varicose veins. But this really holds up over time. Insurance covers this? So if you're symptomatic, if you have uh, pain in your legs, then insurance does tend to cover this because it does impede your lifestyle. Uh, just to go back a little bit, women, primarily women, have varicose veins. That's right. 
and it tends to they tend to occur between your 40s and 50s why what is happening well it's a predisposition there are valves inside the veins now the arteries you may you should know that the arteries carry the blood down to the feet and the veins return the blood back to the heart and they depend on these valves to keep the blood flowing in the right direction people are born with a predisposition for these valves to fail and the more years you spend on your feet the more pregnancies you have the heavier you are the more pressure is put on these so valves. So the predisposition plus time that's right equals a varicose vein so I have to ask you something did you change the length of your skirt right Fish. away? Absolutely <laughs> and the size of my dress too Diane because really? I decided to take off a lot of weight so uh, just to help myself along because the heavier you are I think the more inclined you'd, you'd be uh -huh. if I'm correct, doctor, uh, for the varicose veins to come back again. How much did you take off? Over 30 pounds since May. Well, again, a lot of people will be astonished to learn that you can now do this in a doctor's office in a short amount of time and with, without general anesthesia, which scares so many people. It's great. Wonderful to see you so happy. Thank, Thank you, Dr. You. Adelman. Thanks, and if Dan. you want more on the story, go to abcnews.com. We'll have a lot more detail there.